Ya YouTubers, Tazman here, bringing you another episode of Regrowth, where we're bringing this cold, dead, desolate world. Although this doesn't look very cold, dead, desolate. This looks live. Uh, but that cold, dead, desolate world. Back to life, one block at a time. And look, we have a friend. Um, so, uh, in our last episode, we were trying to figure out how to get this guy to go up in strength, and inadvertently, we uh, brought this guy out. Um, no one's really said anything what to do with him. Um, there's various things I was thinking. One would be kind of trap him kind of in a corner like this, and then... Uh, dig a hole directly below him and just go all the way down to the bottom of the world. I, I can't be in this corner though because that's where my familiars are. Um, where's Morticia? Morticia! Oh, here she is. Uh, so, anyway, yeah, no one has said anything, you know, let's get him legit. I, I do still want to be legit. I mean, I think we kind of got him legit without with cheating on the altar power but that was unintentional and i do want to try and get this up to at least 14k so that it would be 100 percent legit that if we got this to 14k he would have just spawned um so that's kind of where i'm leaning because i'm not 100 percent sure if i were to drop him out of the world uh if if it would work properly or if it would kind of screw up the system uh but let's jump right into comments real quick um where be the comments so we actually have quite a few i think we had five comments uh so from game from hell we have tasman versus shade of leonard round one fight kind of sounds like mortal Kombat. uh and then uh from another game please we have uh, you already have the best head, which is yours. You can only have one head of any type. You have the best items already, except the pentagram. Uh, the dragon egg doesn't have to be on the altar. Just add more items in the grass. Three mystical flowers. Three mystical flowers count. Uh, you get to have. You get to have much more grass. So. Um, I mentioned that, yeah, probably have to do some decorating or whatever. Uh, and then, then another game please says, uh, you need to use witchery and vanilla plants and logs. A fun way to get it done is to cast a circle magic spell to release nature on the whole area. I think it's called Rite of Nature's Power. Page 44 of the Circle Magic Book. That sounds cool. And... My worry with that is that it might overwrite blocks we have and make it so this is no longer an enclosed place. However, specifically for this reason, I made a backup of my world, which I haven't done since October. So I keep forgetting. I'm really bad at that. So I'm thinking that might be kind of a cool thing to do is actually try that and see what it does. We could also throw more flowers and stuff around here. I mean, definitely there's spaces. I mean, we can make it so you can barely even see the grass. Um, let's see. Let's go to the next one. Do, oh, I don't like doing that. We, this way you can watch Morticia there. Um, wrong button. There we go. Uh, then we have from my wither. Um, you can only have one of each class of item on the altar. That means heads conflict, lights conflict, so the candelabra and the torch, which is why we weren't getting it from both of those. Goblets conflict, such as the filled and the unfilled. And you can manage to get, if you can manage to get two dragon eggs, it still applies only one in the case of uh, conflicts it goes for the weaker option now that's kind of weird look there's good old uh, Leonard uh, it may be a glitch or a grind it may be a grind to set up but to get more power you should try some farming nearby crops con contribute 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 to your altar power and haven't really 
and I haven't really seen many nearby. Cactus, sugar cane leaves. Now, cactus I've kind of avoided uh, just because that will hurt people that are in here or if my familiars are roaming around in here, it could hurt them. Uh, but sugar cane leaves you don't already have nearby should also help you um, or help. You could uh, likely do with some more pumpkins and melons too. Okay, you got the power to summon him. Uh, XD, never mind, I guess. To kill him, you're going to need to do, you're going to need uh, some work. He's tough, requires several damage types, and gives you a very short time limit with it, uh, to fight with him. So I have seen a video, and it is interesting. It'd be, I, I'm interested to do it myself, that you could guess you could call it cheaty, but if you take Leonard to the end, uh, because we've already cleared the end, you know, we could put him kind of in a box there and beat the snot out of him. And then when he gets to his invulnerable state, you can actually leave the end and it will reset his aggro. Now it doesn't, I don't think it really makes it cheaty that you can kill him easier. I think it just makes it so that he de-aggros you. Um, but yes, I do know there is, as soon as you tick him off, he casts something on you, like a wither spell that will pretty much just kill you after, I think it's a minute or so. What the heck is, what is Morticia doing over here bouncing? Oh, she's in the, in the water. I was like, how is she like so short? <laughs> um, so anyway, whoops. So I did say after that that I do want to make sure that the altar does have enough power because it does feel a little cheaty uh, that, you know, we we got him here. Uh, and then they said, I admire the honesty in your work. Good, sir. So thank you. And then, uh, yeah, I think that was it. So those are the things. So the two things I wanted to uh, kind of look at today, one is this pentagram thing, and it's not actually called a pentagram, I believe, because I, I looked it up. It's like uh, this thing, a pentacle. So it's kind of like it. It actually doesn't look terribly hard because of our infrastructure we already have in place where we've got a bunch of that cobalt dust. Um, I think we sell that to the little dudes to get cobite nuggets or something, and then we can combine them or something. I know, I think we should be able to do it. Look, they're playing again, the children. Um, so like if we come talk to our little dude in here, who's hurt, so he will take, excuse you, uh, he'll take cobalt, cobite dust and five gold nuggets it's gonna take a lot of gold nuggets and that will give us one nugget so we need four of those which is uh, we need four ingots so that is going to be is it 30 36 so we're gonna need 36 nuggets no Why am I thinking weird? 36 times 5 would be how much gold we need. So I think, I mean, we should have plenty of gold. I mean, we have 1,000, blocks of gold, we have 1,054. So I'm not worried on that. Let's just maybe, uh, is it going to be yet 9? Oh, this is actually going to be way over what I need, I think. I don't remember what all this stuff was. Oh, I think this is because I got in that mode where I had to keep making hats. Um, so this hopefully should be enough of that. We need 36 cobalt dust, if I'm right. And hopefully these guys don't lock out if you uh, do too much, like a, a villager does. I guess we'll find out. So if we do, I think it's 36. I never said I was good at math, and I don't know, maybe we can even do these guys. He will do cobite nuggets. He will do cob... How do you say that? 
kobold, koboldite. So he'll do it. So we could throw this in there and that in there and see if he'll... Holy cow, that was only four? Oh, because it's nine. Uh, so it's 36. Oh my gosh. It's going to be a lot of this stuff. Um, wow. Maybe we don't have enough of our stuff. Let's see. What was that? What did I just pick up? I don't know what I picked up. Was it you? Yes, it was him. All right, so it does look like he will keep on trading with us, which is really good. So that gives us 11. Is that all he'll trade with us? Seven? Wait a minute. Do we have 11? I could have swore we had 11. Do we have to wait for you like to stink or something? No, he locked out. Great. They do lock out. Crap. <laughs> Excuse you. Uh, 9 and 5. So this guy's the same. So let's go ahead and get as much from him though as we can. He wanted to do that much, so that's okay. He's probably locked out now. Yep. Ooh, but he stunk. Do you have anything better now? Uh, 16. We might have to jump to that. And that's... That's actually uh, one nugget better on gold. How about you, buddy? Oh, good. He'll do it, too. Uh, that and that. We've almost got... Got 21. And now he won't do that. Did you sneak it up? He didn't even st oh, there he goes. 16. Okay, so we could still get it. Um, we still have one more guy over here. The main trader guy. Hello, my friend. I need... That's... Wait, where'd they just go? Hello? Did I throw them? Give those back, you punk. 20 set... Wait, did you trade? Come here. You did trade. So... Huh? Didn't we have 27 before we started talking to this guy? I'm really getting confused. All right, well, there's that. So let's go ahead. We'll put back our nuggets. We'll go ahead and start grabbing a couple stacks. Three, that definitely should do it, right? So confusing. Um, all right, so you. No, you don't have anything of interest. You. You'll do it. Uh, so let's go here. Here. And that's... Oh my gosh, we're one away now. Are you going to stink it up? He did. So then... Can we... Wait, can we make Cobite Dusty stuff into ingots? Uh, usage. Recipe. We can't. So that means we actually need a lot more. Holy cow. Oh, he'll do this one again, though. So that's good. No. You. Uh, yes. That last guy only did four? That's 43. Yeah, you can sneak it up now. Uh... 49, 56, that should be fine. And now down to 1. Alright, so we're at 49, so now what we need to do is go talk to this guy who wants 9 and an emerald. So we need 4. This is where we need the 36. Let's just double check. So we need for those we need 36 of these to be able to get that and then this is all we should need now all we should need is now is emeralds 
So I'll go and put the gold back and go in here. E M E R A. So it was one emerald per, right? You know, I'm just going to grab a whole stack. We'll, we'll put back what we don't use. All right, so back to uh, George here. Um, nope, not George. Sorry, Mark. How about you? All right, so we need four of these things. And that's the four. And we have 13 left over. Wow, that was actually a lot more expensive than I was thinking it was going to be. And I'm not sure why they aren't working. They have their little pickaxes. I guess they just got bored. I don't know. Or actually, oh, I think I remember. I think, it, it don't they only do that when they have the tether on? And for some reason, they all have lost their tethers. I'm not sure why. Don't I have a spot over here? I think I do. Um... All right, so then for that, we need the diamond in the center. All right, we can do that too. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Also, I want to verify. I'm going to check that out. Um, that I should have put away. Uh, so we need a diamond, DIA. Go ahead and throw that right there. Go ahead. Oh, I put the nuggets in here already, didn't I? Cobaltite. K O B. There we go. One, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, I got it on the first try. You guys should be so proud of me. That doesn't happen. Oh, actually, let's do this real quick. I just want to see if we make a lead, L-E-A-D. Uh, I don't know if we have the slime, but it gives us two. We do not. All right, so I think over here we have some slime. We have do 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 30 336 of those and 200 of those okay so let's grab i don't know why i'm doing 10. uh that's going to be 20 leads do they stack Oof, i don't know how much string we got we should have plenty of string we we know where we have lots more strings so i'm not worried about that all right so uh what was it like this 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 and this and boom that's a wait what 64 I'm, I'm not gonna make any more then these I think they are on the thing right SLI yes they are okay all right so well now we have lots and lots of these leads we can see if this actually works real quick because I think I I kind of feel like they have to be hooked on this to work. Hey, you turn around, break that stuff. Yeah, I'll put them there. Yeah, okay, that, that does work. So as long as they're on a lead, they seem to uh, do what they're supposed to. But somehow, I love how it comes out of there. No, hey, come right back. Why are you ignoring your lead? There we go. All right, you guys get to work because apparently I might end up needing this koboldite stuff uh, later on. Let's go and just do that, do that. Okay. All right, so, uh, and actually, we'll go ahead and put the leads in here as well. So we'll put them at the end, like so. All right, so now we have this. Let's go see if we can put this on and increase it, and then we'll look. Oh, we're at 19 minutes. Maybe that'll be the end of this episode. Uh, so can we just put you right there? Did that bump it up? Were we at 12, 4, 5, 6? Can I get you back? There we go. 
Okay, this doesn't actually do anything. This probably actually does the recharge or something. But now we have, I think this is everything that you can put on the altar um, to get power. So everything else is going to have to be pumpkins, growing things. And I don't know if crops count. Um, I mean, these are witchery crops. And can you actually plant artichoke seeds just on ground or do they have to be on water? I don't know. So maybe those aren't doing it. Uh, I don't, I wanted to check one other thing. Hey guys, you having fun? <laughs> Whoops, I clicked on her. Um, I think I made a bunch of this a while ago. What is it called? It's F-E-R, this stuff, yes. So I wanted to do a real quick test. And so right now we're at 12, four, five, six. If I throw down some of these, is it going to increase it at all? Or does it need to be more natural stuff? 12, four, five, six, okay. So it seems like maybe these don't do nearly as much as I was hoping. Maybe we could get just regular type flowers, throw them all over. Um, that means I kind of, I kind of like how they sparkle though. <laughs> But yeah, they don't appear to do anything, so we might as well remove those. I think in the next episode, we might try and do that right of nature thing. Maybe I'll go through meticulously and remove all of these uh, mystical ones that don't see if it actually decreases it. Maybe it just doesn't increase it enough for us to actually see anything. I don't know. But... Uh, we will continue on to see what we can do. And if you're kind of doing something like this, make sure that you have enough space to do two giant rings around your cauldron. Uh, or else. And maybe I'll throw some more pumpkins and stuff around. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what it, what it does for us. Uh, but we're at 22 minutes, so I think we're going to call for this episode. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up uh, down below. Aside from that, comment, like, and subscribe. Click the little notification bell. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my Discord and my other channels. And don't forget to tell other people about my channel. Have them check it out. If they like what they see, they can sub. We grow the channel. Everyone's happy. Everybody wins. And... Uh, I remember planting that over there so I could harvest it, but now I don't remember why I wanted to harvest it. But anyway, I don't get sidetracked. So that's it, my friends. Until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.